Hello everybody, it's Chase Snow and welcome back to another Rust video. I'm going to be showing you a quick and in-depth guide into the new CCTV system added into Rust. First, you're going to be looking at the computer station. The computer station is an in-game deployable item used to view and monitor CCTV cameras that you've placed, other players, or in monuments. Now you can find this in elite crates, military crates, locked crates such as the Chinook or on oil rig, and in heavy scientist or normal scientist on oil rig. Once you've found it, you can research it for 75 scrap and build it on a level 2 workbench for 20 high quality metal, 1 target computer, 1 RF broadcaster and 1 RF receiver. Optionally, if you're really desperate, you can also go and buy it in that outpost for 300 scrap. The vending machine is located on the right side of outpost by itself over here. As you can see here, you can buy the fuel station for 300 scrap. Once you have your computer station, I'm now going to show you how to set up your CCTV camera system. So first you're going to need a source of power. So this can be a solar panel, a wind turbine, or a small generator, which can all be found in military, elite, and normal crates. You're also going to need a place to store that energy that you created, so in a medium or a large rechargeable battery, which can also be found in elite, military, crates, and on scientists on oil rig. Other electrical in-game items you will need are a wire, wire tool which will cost 5 high qual, optionally a switch which you can find in normal crates, a splitter which you can find in normal crates, or an electrical branch which you can find in normal crates, and CCTV cameras which you can find in military or elite crates. So now you want to connect your power source to your battery. So for my power source I've used two solar panels connected to a root combiner which is another optional electrical item you will need. And I'm going to connect the output of the root combiner to the input of the battery of your choice, like so. The battery should start charging, as you can see. Um, 103 going up now, with a maximum of 9,000 rust volts. Now, optionally, you can have a, a switch here. Now, I like to have it so I can control the flow of electricity, but it doesn't. It's not really necessary or needed. Just in case you need it for other items, it's a good thing to have. So connect the output of your um, battery to the input of your switch. Then place a series of uh, branches or splitters here, uh, depending on how many outputs you need. So if you have three cameras, you'll need three outputs. If you have four, four, and so on, so on. Uh, so I'm going to need three cameras, so I'm going to have a splitter here connected to my output of the switch here. So now what you want to do is you want to place your cameras. So I'm going to place one camera here, one camera outside, and one camera facing this way. Now you need building proofs, so when you go up to the camera, you want to press E where it's, see where it says set direction. Just press E and face in whichever direction you want uh, the camera to go. So if you want it to go over here, press E over here and it will come over here. Uh, if not, come back over here. Uh, so I believe that Rust will add a feature to control the camera out from the computer workstation, but it's all a work in progress still. I'm going to set the direction downwards here. I'm going to set the direction here. Like so. Now connect your, connect your electricity to your cameras. So each camera needs a minimum of five electricity to run. So connect your electricity up, like so. Also be wary that in the future you may need to have an extra output of electricity because your computer station may require some electricity to run in the future, but for now it just doesn't require anything. Like so. So once you've got your uh, camera set up and five, at least five electric run into them, you can go over to them and set the ID. Now you have 32 characters to set your ID and it needs to be capitals to work. Uh, so I'd make this uh, something you'll remember but something that somebody else will not guess because if somebody else can guess it, they can access the camera. So I'm going to call this outside, outs, outside, let's spell it right. 
camera one set identifier outside camera two and I'm going to call this one inside camera one you set the identifiers by the way you can only set the identifiers if you have built-in privilege and you can only set the direction if you have built-in privilege uh, once you've set your identifiers you want to mount the computer workstation uh, once you've named all your cameras all you need to do is add the name of the camera into the console here so outside one add I'll make sure it's all spelt right with the same capitalization and same everything. So if they don't appear when you've done it, you've either not got power to your cameras or you've not spelt it right in the camera or in the chat. So as you can see here, we've got our inside camera of me. We've got our outside camera too. Hang on, who's at the door? Oh my god, what the fuck is going on there? There's a fucking box outside my door! Bleh! <laughs> what the <laughs> the fuck? Alright, anyway. So, uh, if you go back into your camera, uh, a cool thing I saw in Shadowfrax's thing was, um, in Shadowfrax's recent video, is that you can actually add the names of your, um, of monuments into your camera system. So if I add, for example, Oil Rig Heli 1, I could see Oil Rig's helipad. If I add Compound Chill, I can see the outpost chilling area where you see over here. So I'll add a list of all the different things you can add in, in the description below. Well, that is my quick guide onto CCTV cameras. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you haven't already subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.